so I have the tiny house, um, the tiny garden house mapped out, but the problem is, is that our old brush pile is right here in the corner. You can see here's one of the stakes. The other stake is on the other side of this lovely thing right here. Um, I'm actually going to pull that one up and get it out of the way in case this creeps out a little bit. I don't want it to burn up. But, um, yeah. So, the first thing I'm doing, the 5x5s five five arrive tomorrow morning, um, which is our normal podcast time. So, um, I'm hoping to get this burning real good and let it smolder all night. And, hopefully, it will be clear. Um, and then, I will start digging holes to set them they're gonna be there are 10 foot five by fives they'll be two foot in the ground and eight foot walls so I'm okay with that but anyway um I've still got to get my fire to creep over here there's some bigger logs over here um I might have to get RJ to come out and help me just kind of lift them up and put them over onto the fire because I'm pooping out went for a walk worked all kinds of stuff Durf got hurt You'll see it in the podcast. Okay, so I kind of sort of have this mapped out, and I've actually gotten the tape measure out and put the front um, of the house where I want it. Um, I have not, the only thing I have left to do is square it up, and I'll tell you how I'm going to do that here in just a minute. This is the burn pile. I have not gone through it with the magnet because every time I stir it, the center of that is super hot. So, um, this right here is actually a little metal stick or post, um, copper, whatever pipe. There is some wire right there. I keep stirring it and it's still hot in the center. So I'm not, um, going to mess with that a whole lot until it's done, done. <laughs> but, um, okay. So I do have this all mapped out and I'm going to give you, I don't know if everybody else knows this or what, but. Um, around here people are like how are you gonna do it by yourself you need two people to hold the measuring tape blah 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 no you don't um, use your measuring tape backwards is what I tell them all right so this is a 12 foot measuring tape and I want my post 10 foot apart so I use this little button right here lock it in the 10 foot I started with that corner right there and I know this is where I want the corner of the building to be and I actually went across there across there down you know so I've come to the last one with this locked at 10 foot, okay, make sure that when you put it up like this, it'll lock right in there and it's on the 10 mark, the 10 foot line. And then I just come right down here and don't pull, just keep it taut, put it in, voila, 10 foot, okay? It doesn't have to be um, really hard and you don't have to have two or three people to do this. Um, you just I just do it. I'm so used to doing things by myself. I don't know if that's common knowledge or not, but that's how I do it. Now to square it up, um, once I get the corners 10 foot, 10 foot, um, I really just come out here and I do the same thing I did with this. Okay. I did um, 20 foot across here, just 10 and 10. And I literally only stuck the stake at 10 foot, kind of, sort of. Um, and that was just for measuring purposes. All right. So then what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll take this off and let that kind of go. I need to tighten it up a little bit. Hence why I have a slip knot over here. But I tighten it up and that's going to actually show me right in there where I need the center ones. So the center ones are placed for 10 foot, but not super, super. Then I'm just gonna pick this up and give it a twist ah! and shove it in at 10 foot. And I'm trying to do this. I'm literally trying to do it one handed now, but right there should be perfect. So um, I will go around and I have to do that to the center ones, if that makes sense. The corner ones are just done to get this is 20 foot across here, 20 foot across here, 20 foot across here. And I started, I know that is exactly the corner that I want. That's where I want it placed. Now, the only thing that will shift is if I'm not centered um, or square. 
this measuring tape is not long enough to do square, but what I will do is go find a longer one. And just because I'm not, just because I'm not as efficient with it without two people, um, if I had one that was long enough to go all the way across, this corner to that corner have to measure exact to the same measurement as that corner to that corner. Whatever it is, it has to match and then I'm square. If I'm not square, it'll be off. So, um, and then it won't be a 20 by 20, it'll be something else. So anyway, um, but I know where to put my posts. All of them have been measured out. Um, I showed you how to do the last center one. And if you look, it looks pretty square, pretty in line. And remember these are tent stakes, but it's gonna be five by five. So when we dig where that tent stake is, it's gonna be a much bigger hole. This will get cleaned up probably Wednesday because I just, I have to work. I might do it tomorrow night, but um, my five by fives are sitting at the lumber yard. I just have to go get them. So Wednesday I plan on starting to dig holes and getting those posts set. The quicker I can get them set, then I order the trusses and then I start um, putting up headers and actually getting things set up and it'll be a little frame of a house. I'm super excited. So